Do you know where you are on the all-time rushing list right now? Are you aware of that? Um, I think I'm 26 or 27. You are. You are 26. Okay. Do you know who's right in front of you and who's right behind you on that list? I think... Uh, I think Tiki Barber is right behind me. That is correct by about um, by about 150 yards. Okay. And this other individual's in front of you by 16 yards. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, guessing where he is on the all-time list. Let's see. Um, I guy. know that I know Ricky Waters and he's two in uh, front of you. Oh, well, okay. By the way, I just saw him at Bryant Young's uh, Hall of Fame Hall party. Hall of Fame. Okay, yeah, I just saw yeah, that. Yeah, incredible back. Yeah, I was a big fan of his. Even Notre Dame. He's when he played at Notre Dame. Big too. Like yeah. I mean, when I saw him, I forgot just how. Yeah, I saw like, on Twitter he has like his own training uh, company, or something like that. I don't okay. know. I saw, yeah, I saw something on Twitter. It might if it's not Ricky, it might be Jamal. It is Lewis. Jamal Lewis. Yeah. Jay Lou. Yeah, it, it is exactly that. Yeah, yeah. Ten thousand rushing yards is no joke. As a matter of fact, um, only thirty-one people have played football in the NFL with that many yards. That's it. Wow. And you're one of them, man. You know, it's so crazy. Um, I retired ten years ago. 10 years, huh? 10. 2012 okay. was my last game. Right. And because I'm just so engulfed in the business and in creating my own content yes. and acting and, and everything that comes with that, um, I'm really removed, far removed from the NFL. I, I only remember those names was because the last time I checked was, was probably a few years ago. Those were the guys that were one. Tiki was one uh, spot behind me. Jamal right. and Ricky were a couple spots ahead of me. So that's the the only thing, uh, the only way I remember is from a few years ago. Well, but it hasn't um, changed very much. As a yeah, matter of see. fact, we were just looking. There's not a single with Adrian Peterson not expected to play this year. There is not a single active player in the top 50 all time rushing yards list. Not a single one. I can't. Yeah, yeah Mark Ingram is 54 and Zeke is 58. I can't imagine. Like I, I got to look up that with the NFL Network research to find out the last time. An NFL season kicked off without a single active player in the top 50 on the rushing list, all-time rushing list. I, that's probably been a minute since that's yeah, happened. I, I don't you know? know. Like like I said, I, I, when I retired, I was trying to figure out how do I, um, you know, figure out what to do with my time. Right. Because, you know, my entire career was not necessarily chasing a, a rushing record, but you're consistently padding your stats. And, and, you know, I'm thinking of 1,000-yard seasons. That's my goal every new year. That's right. my resolution It's another 1,000-yard season. And so you don't even really think about the yards or the, the, the stats until for, when you're further removed from the game. And then you realize, like, why 10,000 yards is so significant because it's not just the yards. It's, it's what you have to do to get that many yards. It's playing hurt. It's playing... Well, when you're losing, you know, I mean, I, I think I had maybe three seasons where we one season we were four and 12, another season we were five and 11, and I still had over a thousand yards, you know. So mentally, how do you come back after five game losing mm. stretch and still be motivated to run for over 100 yards? Obviously, your paycheck, but no, just I know, knowing field. that there's a business decision for you to make in that hole if, right, if, if the hole is open for right. you, right? You it, know? Just, it just comes down to will. Uh, and desire and, and passion for the game, and um, and that's why I respect anyone, obviously, that make, that plays in the NFL. But as a running back, um, you know that that milestone, ten thousand yards, says a lot more than just the actual yardage. It says a lot about you as as a player and as a person. And it also means uh, Thomas Q. Jones here on the Rich Eisen Show, uh, longevity as yes. well. And and it seems now that in the NFL, getting that, I guess second contract as a running back is a significant achievement. The third is pretty much uh, a rarity. Getting that third contract paid the way that you should be paid yeah. because the concept that your best years are now behind you and the NFL doesn't really pay you for past performance unless you're yeah. somebody particularly quarterbacky. Right, you know, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right, so, right. Quarterback, yeah. So you gotta you gotta take that into the equation too, because there's all these young kids coming out of college, and the college offenses are are you know now married to the professional offenses and vice versa. Right. Yeah. It seems like that's that's what's happening. It's, right. It's hard. It's hard for running back to get even one contract now. Um, How many did you, you know, get? How many did you get? 
uh, my initial contract with the Cardinals. Then I signed a deal. Were they the with, Phoenix yeah, Cardinals when you got them uh, too? They were Arizona. They were the, okay. They were, still, they were in Phoenix, but okay. Arizona. Got it. In 2000. Uh, and then the Ch- Chicago Bears, I signed in my second deal. And then I was traded to the Jets, and I signed my third deal. Damn. And then I was released by the Jets, and then I signed a two-year deal with the Chiefs. So during that time, a running back get four deals potentially, and that was – That's how you get 10,000 yards if yeah, you're good. Yeah, but but I think what, what helped me was early on in Arizona, I didn't have as many carries. So there wasn't as, as much wear and tear on my body. So by the time I ended up in Chicago, I think it was year five, uh, I was just kind of – uh, coming into my own and, and starting to get, you know, 250, 300 carries a year. Um, and then also the way I took care of my body. So by the time I ended up in New York, I think I was 29. Um, obviously, I was supposed to be done. But I continued to to get better. I think in 2007, I had 1,100 yards. 2008, I had 1,300. It was, and it was a start in the Pro Bowl. 2009, I had 1,400 um, and it was kind of this weird thing. There were like a couple of articles about how is he, his number, his number is going up mm-hmm. with his age versus going backwards. Um, and I felt like, honestly, um, I could have had more. You know, I think if I would have stayed in New York that last year uh, with, the, with the offensive line that we had and the chemistry we had with, with, uh, with our offense, I think I might have been able to pull off another 14, 15, 